size is our unit for today up on the roof. Let's see, we get a free drill chuck with this unit. Sweet. 5 16 baby. So I'm going to open her up and see why she's not running. It is calling downstairs. We look inside this train heat pump. We can see the contactor is pulled in. There, we need to check for voltage here at the contactor to make sure we have power. Then we can go to the capacitors if we do have power. Of course, we'll shut them off first. We check for voltage to ground off each of these legs. We have the same amount as when we check them together. They're zero. So I need to go down to the apartment and see if the breaker's tripped, or I'll check these fuses here as well. Here's our fuses. We check voltage between the top two fuses at the top where the line comes in. And we check the load side, which had nothing as well. Uh, obviously, since the top had nothing, the bottom will have nothing. I'm going to put the ohms across these fuses to see if they're blown or they're still good. We have the electrical meter set on tone. You see we have tone at the base of the fuse. And we're just confirming that it works. Now we go to one side and the other. We have nothing. The fuse is blown. Nothing on this side, the fuse is blown. Again, we have tone on the fuse itself. Nothing on either side. So both the fuses are blown as well. So I'm gonna try to put tone on the unit itself just in case there's a dead short and it shows up with the meter. I have my lead on the ground and a lead on the contactor on the mega ohm meter and what I'm going to do is I'm trying to pry them in place so we can see I have it pried into place we're gonna hit the test button let's see what we got not a whole lot there uh, so it's kind of a dead short so we're gonna figure out where that is we have a lead hooked up to the ground wedged against the contactor again we're going to push the test much higher 26 mega ohms, so we should be good. The crankcase heater is the bad guy again. I went ahead and checked the capacitor too. But since it has been sitting in here since 1996, I figured I don't want to call back in about a week about it. But it's actually good to go. It's a 35.4. So 35.4, and we got just over three and a half on the fan side, and I think we were about 33, 34 on the herm side. So we're happy, happy. So we're gonna let it ride. And reset this unit make sure our breaker downstairs is still good because it looked like it wouldn't trip but it wouldn't let any power through so we're gonna see it wouldn't be the first one that wouldn't let any power through guys I changed the fuses out took the crankcase heater out of the circuit and we're back online we got a Z manifold on there we're running around 80 pounds of suction pressure which is about right for our temperature inside just using that as a double checking method with our crankcase heater wires tucked away and wrapped up this one will live to cool another day.